Hey guys, this is the beginner's tutorial of the Icon 8 and Character Creator 4 series. And today, we are going to learn how to create a scene. How to create a scene in Icon 8. Right, I already opened the Icon 8. Now you can see it is totally empty. I'm, I'm going to use the previous file from the previous tutorial. The previous tutorials, they are avatars animations and also the props animation Alright, so based on the previous animations, I will open the previous file It is on my desktop Here So I will open it back Now it is loading Load the file So we have to wait for a while Right now, it is it is loaded already. Now, switch the window of the workplace to the standards. Now, you can see this is the previous one. Right. So for today's ones, we are going to learn how to add the Im image background. You can see now the background is totally empty. It is black color. And how are we going to change the color of the background or replace it with any image? So now we can just go to Go to the window, workplace. Here, you choose all panels. Then, now I can close this. Close everything at the bottom. Now, so here you should be able to see a project. Once you see the project, you scroll down. You should be able to see a 2D background. If you activate the image, actually, this is the image. Right, now, we are going to search a random image. Now, I will switch on the, the internet here. From the internet, I will go to the Google image. Images.google.com Enter. All right, now, let's say I search mouth. All right, I search nature, the nature wallpaper. Now, let's say if I want this wallpaper, let's say this is the wallpaper. I save it first, I right click save the image into my computer as demo i will save it on my desktop right this one nature 01 for example i save it at here already this is the picture this is the jpg image and how are we going to use this as the icon background this is just a 2d background all right you have two methods the first method you can just drag in drag to the background here and release you see it will automatically replace now we can have a look. Now it will become a 2D background and you can let your avatar to, to stand on that, look like they are standing on that. See. Of course you have to, to adjust until this line is at, at the center. Right. If you undo the previous one you not yet apply. You also can drag in the image into here. Oh, cannot. If you drag into here, cannot. You can drag into here. Right. Now I drag again. Drag in. Drag the image to the background. It will replace it. However, if you untick it, you deactivate the image and go back to something like this. Right. If you take, it will activate it. So if you untick it, then you can change the background color at here. Let's say if you click the orange color, the background will become become orange color in that way. Click. By default, it is black color. Of course, you can change to any color. Right, this is based on the previous animation that we created. Alright, I'm going to delete this. Of course, if you tick again to activate the image, it will back to the image again. Of course, you have to render at certain certain angle. And now we are going to test a render. For example, now you play. Okay, now we just want to render this part. To render at here, render as a video. MP4, you can, you can choose the output size. For me as demo, I will just render it at HD. Next, I scroll down, render as a final render under the range. Range that means 
It is only the part that you selected. Alright, now I click export. As demo, I will export it on my desktop. The file name, I will put video 001. For example, I click save. Now it is rendering a video of the animations. Now we just need to wait for a while. It is rendering frame by frame. Once it finished, right. Open it now. I may choose no. I know where is the video's location. It is on my desktop. It is over here. Video 001 MP4. It really become an MP4. You can see. This is really a HD video. It already become an MP4. That means you already can upload it to YouTube or any of other 3D platform or play with any of the MP4 player. For example, the Windows Media Player, etc. in your computer. Now I close this. Right. So now we back to the icon and as demo I will save this as a file. I click save. And then that's all for today about how to add an image, image background, create a scene in icon 8, add image background and also render a video mp4. Right, this is how are we going to create a 2D scene in icon 8. So in next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D scene in icon 8. This is the next tutorial. We are going to pause it here. And I'll see you on the next video. Save again. And close. See you.